Modern Defense Academy NDA has assured its commitment to incorporate in cyber security training into the military curriculum for its cadets. Now, this aims to equip them to undo both conventional and also unconventional threats, thereby enhancing the Nigeria's overall security posture in an increasingly digital world. The assurance was given during the Camp Island Bato inoculation exercise of the 71st regular course at Direct Short Service Course 28 held in Akashia Kaduna State in northwest Nigeria. This marks the final uh, outdoor physical combat training for the 71st regular cadet after rigorous and intensive military training. The Special Guest of Honor, Air Vice Marshal Nnamdi uh, Anunaba, the Air Officer Commanding of the Air uh, Training Command of the Nigerian Air Force in Kaduna, stressed that the loyalty of Nigeria's armed forces in defending the nation's territory must be unquestionable as they are constitutionally mandated to combat threats. Must be prepared to be drafted at short notice for difficult and dangerous and of course life-threatening operations such as the operations which I have mentioned, counter-terrorism contents. Prepare to join them in theaters of operation for the defense of sovereignty and patriotic favor and courage. Defense of the sovereignty of our dear nation, Nigeria. But apart from mastering the tactics, techniques, and procedures, your loyalty to the nation must be unquestionable. And I go forward with that patriotic favor and courage to discharge your constitutional roles to your fatherland. Major General John Ochai, the commandant of the Nigeria Defense Academy, stated that the cadets undergo rigorous training in military skills, physical fitness, discipline, and leadership. He assured that the well trained cadets will contribute significantly to address the Nigeria's security challenges. All our adversaries need to hear this very clear. These are some of the best trained uh, officers that we are going to commission in the history of the Nigerian Defense Academy. They are, they are airborne qualified, they have done amphibious training and some elements of special forces. They have also been introduced into cyber warfare as well. They are technologically savvy and I can assure the nation, particularly the armed forces, that this set of uh, cadets are going to bring a lot of value into confronting the challenges that we are facing, particularly in the security uh, area. So they've had an all-round training that will enable them lead men towards achieving the aim and objectives, as well as the orders given to them by the leadership of the armed forces. The Bart inoculation uh, training uh, will now expose cadets to the sights, sounds and experiences of the battlefield in order to prepare them for countering insurgency and terrorism. This battle inoculation exercises exposes them to the actual, the actual environment that they are going to experience in a battlefield. In a battlefield you'll be hearing sounds of gunshots, you'll be hearing sounds of explosions, You'll be hearing sounds of your enemy firing at you, bullets whistling over your head, people falling beside you. That is the real deal. So this exercise brings them as close to reality as possible. It makes them appreciate what they are going to experience when they get into the battlefield. So having gone through this, when we deploy them to the battlefield, it's something that they are already used to, so it won't come as a shock to them. They will be well prepared and able to respond appropriately to whatever is brought up against them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.